Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the Natasha Denona palette. This palette is called the Green Brown Palette. But the reason, the actual reason why I wanted to show you guys this palette, it's because it's $239. So, for that price, this palette better be. This palette better be amazing. It better have amazing quality eyeshadows and basically better make me look beautiful. So, I wanted to do a review on this palette. I was definitely very curious and I thought like this palette better be something special. Uh, I mean, for that much money, it has to be something a little bit different. It's not just your usual palette. Of course, this palette has a ton of eyeshadows. I mean, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you're getting 28 shadows. So that in itself is uh, a pretty big palette, but still not for $240. I have obviously gotten a few uses out of it, as you can see. A lot of these colors I've used multiple times, and there's a few colors that I just have not touched because they're just not my cup of tea. But nonetheless, it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. But from what I've seen, so you are getting a pretty good deal. Good deal. If you already know that the eyeshadows are really, really good, and you love them um, you're getting a really good deal because for only five shadows it's like $50 so you're getting way more for you know $240 which <laughs> just doesn't it sounds doesn't sound like an, an amazing deal but but if you do the math and you put it all together like it is a really good deal but besides the point that it's super expensive, I do want to talk about the eyeshadows themselves. So I did get the palette and I started to use it. The first thing I noticed is how buttery. There's no other word to describe it than buttery. I don't know what other term to say. You don't even, that doesn't even make sense until you've felt eyeshadows like this. They are so smooth and ultra, ultra ultra pigmented they're really good i am wearing the, the shadows today so i will have a tutorial on this that i just filmed and i recently filmed another tutorial that i will link down below if you guys are interested in seeing like if you are going to purchase this palette or if you just want to see a tutorial in general i will link my video down below so you guys can check it out another thing i just don't like about the palette is the lack of selection in my opinion there are a ton of greens and silvers that's like the main thing that i see in this palette i mean this palette is called the uh what is it like green brown palette that's what it's called like green brown and then there's another one that's like uh purple blue i don't know i don't remember the actual name of the other one but this one is called green brown so you are obviously going to see a lot of green but there's just not enough browns for me i do feel like there was a lot of lack of dark browns um you, something that you don't notice right away because you haven't used the palette but um i always have to keep grabbing this color because that's the darkest brown that they have and there's not a ton of matte eyeshadows you have one two three four that's it four mattes and i'm not even sure if that one right there is a matte it's kind of satiny but just like three or four mattes and there's like a billion satins and shimmer so there is a lot of lack of mattes and we all know how important matte eyeshadows are so obviously for this look i actually did not use any matte eyeshadows so it can work and i do really like this look so it's not something that is i guess completely necessary but it is so so helpful and i love seeing a lot of different like textures in the eyes you want to mix textures that's the prettiest thing when you are doing eyeshadow he's doing mattes and shimmers and satins so that is just one thing that i see that there is no mattes on top of that there is no dark eyeshadows that is the darkest shadow next to this one and that's like a super shimmery um i do have that one on today so you'll see you can see how dark that shadow is and it's really not that dark of course speaking for myself because i have tanner skin tone i do need darker shadows so that's just my number one complaint about this palette and i also want to mention the packaging it's really really pretty actually like was really happy with the packaging as soon as i saw this palette it really just 
right away you know it must have been an expensive palette because the packaging like it looks really pretty it's like patent um kind of glossy faux leather and it's just an all white packaging it has um so it just looks really clean and pretty it just looks like like a good good palette that's what I really like about it that you're paying the money so this palette better look good and most importantly it's easy to clean I love palettes like this you just need a little bit like of a wipe and it's clean and when you open the palette this comes with it you can take it off but I like the plastic thing because it kind of protects the eyeshadows and it gives you the names of them because these do come off uh, these are magnetic the only thing it's hard to take them off I didn't know that they were magnetic until I dropped my palette and a few of the eyeshadows kind of just fell off I was so scared but nothing broke as you can see so good it's nicely pressed in there it's good quality um, I'm assuming you can maybe just replace the pan if um, you finished it or it broke or whatever so you have the names of them very quickly I just want to show you how much pigment is in these eyeshadows uh, I'm just gonna pick a random color let's pick this green one here because it, it is very bright just to show you uh, I'll just put it right here can you see that like that looks like that that is the same exact color and that's something that's really hard to do when you have like an eyeshadow pan that's packed it's like usually concentrated so you see a lot of pigment but when you go in and swatch it the color is usually a little bit lighter but that color is just as bright as th that in the pan so that just shows you how much pigment let's do this silver so that one was more of like a satin this one here is more of like a shimmer and look at that that is some good quality eyeshadow to be honest this is probably going to be like my only purchase because it is pretty pricey and I love my normal $40 palette like Anastasia has awesome eyeshadows and you get not as many but um, it is pretty good quality and I don't mind that. I don't mind spending the money. It, those are amazing eyeshadows. Something like this is not really necessary. It is more of a luxury palette so you don't necessarily need it. It is amazing so if you have the money to splurge definitely go out and get it because it's amazing. But you're not really, I mean it's kind of hard to say but I guess you're not really missing out. I mean, those are some really good eyeshadows. They're really good. So I, I let's just swatch another one, just for the, just for fun, just for fun. Uh, my favorite eyeshadow in this entire palette right now is this one right here. So pretty. It's like one of those like green brown pigmented type of colors, like iridescent I'm gonna post like a little clip of this eyeshadow look uh, just so you can see how they look while applying them like with brushes and how they look with you know primer and things like that but if you guys want to see the entire video I will have that also listed in the description box because I don't get into detail about the palette I just wanted to do a whole separate video on that of course because it was going to be a little bit longer but if you want to see the look that I have today it will be in the description box or just go to my channel alright guys so that was the entire small review I hope that you guys enjoyed it would you guys buy a $240 palette is this crazy if you guys are obsessed with makeup as much as I am it's probably not that big of a deal I mean I can spend you know, $50, $70 like that on one night just with food and drinks. So maybe it's not that bad, but it is a little hard to comprehend sometimes. Especially when you have to explain to your boyfriend what is the difference between this and just like your normal eyeshadows. So anyways, this palette is 
beautiful and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to be using this palette a lot but if you guys want a specific look on this leave your comments down below. I hope that you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not and until next time. Love you.